Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Terry here. Simple Swing Thoughts, guys. I'm on the Simple Swing Thoughts Live YouTube channel. And uh, coming to you live, welcome to my apartment here in Grenada. I am in the island country of Grenada down here in the Caribbean. Now, for those of you who don't know where Grenada is, guys, we're, we're almost, we're just about right across from Venezuela. Okay, we're about 90 miles 90 miles west of Venezuela, way down here in the Caribbean. So um, what a treat. What a treat it's been here. We've been here for about 10 months, and we are starting the movement back to the United States in April. Now, I'm going, I'm trying to get my YouTube, I'm sorry, yeah, my YouTube live channel going. I have roughly 7,000 subscribers. Now, of course, YouTube doesn't give me access to all 7,000. But hey, we're trying anyway, right? All right, so here we go. Now, there's one thing that that I cover in my network, and that is, you know, why is current golf instruction not effective? Okay, now I'm not saying that that it's horrible or that it's just, you know, totally not good. It's just it's just not effective. So why can we say that? Okay, now one of the big reasons we can say that is because they don't cover they don't cover the whole golf swing. Okay, now what do I mean? What I mean is, you know, if, if they're going to fix a, a swing flaw or help us to hit the ball better or help us to be more consistent or help us to hit, you know, longer shots, you know, they, they, don't, they don't attack the entire they, – they don't attack the big picture. What they do is they focus on a little bitty part of what the swing is, and then they try to correct you from that part. So, in other words – let me give you, for instance, if I, if I was going to fix a slice, and a lot of times, guys, let me pull my camera down here real quick. A lot of times, guys, when we try to fix slices, guys, what we know is that the club face comes through a little open. Okay, now, what does that mean? It simply means that when it comes through open, okay, we kind of hold on to it, and the, and the club face swings open, and the ball goes off to the right. Okay, but see, here's how you can't fix it. You can't say, well, what you need to do, guys, you need to, you know, when you take the club back, you know, when you come down, you got to make sure that the club shallows. you got to make sure that your arms external rotate into the ball because you got to get the club to shallow, okay, to hit through the ball. Okay, now that would be typical. That would be typical golf instruction of today. But, guys, here's how you really fix a slice, okay? Fixing a slice has nothing to do with starting back here and then telling you to shallow the club, okay? Because what happens is we have to understand what led up to the slice. You know, we have to understand, you know, did you, did you do what? Let me, let me adjust my um, camera again here for you guys. See, what we have to understand is, you know, did we create space? Did we take the club off the ball and create space? You know, did we come out here or did we take the club to the inside? Because, guys, if we start taking the club to the inside, which is here, then not only can slices occur, but hitting it fat, hitting it thin, hooking the ball, all those bad swing habits, all those bad shots can happen. But what happens, guys, once we track the club out on the plane, okay, and let me just, let me just say this. The club tracking here on the takeaway, it's a big difference between the club being here. See, this is too far to the inside. This is right on the plane. This is the club, the hands moving straight back. Notice what my club position is. A lot of instruction today, what they want you to do is they want you to get the toe up as soon as you can. So if you come off the ball and you're trying to get the toe up as soon as you can, then you're leaving out all this real estate right here. You're leaving out the real estate where the club is supposed to be, okay, versus – you trying to get where? You trying to get to parallel. You know, you trying to get to toe up to parallel too soon. The club will track out on the plane. The club has to move, the club head has to move out on the plane and around your body. Now it doesn't mean that your hands, doesn't mean that your hands are moving out around your body. What it means is because we have the right setup and we have the, the right degree angle here, which is about 150 degrees, when we move our hands straight back. That club head is going to track on the plane as our hands are just moving straight back. What we do, guys, a lot of times we try to what we try to fan the club open. We try to roll the wrist too soon. 
And when we roll the wrist too soon, our club gets too far to the inside. Okay, so what you have to understand is in order to fix a swing flaw like that, we have to understand what you do off the ball. Because as the club tracks back, if it tracks back too far to the inside, okay, then that causes a lot of problems. So when I do a swing analysis, okay, I always want to know how does the club start out? How does the club move back? How does the club come off the ball? Because if, if you create the real estate, if, if you buy the right real estate and the, and the hands track, the hands track here, okay, which is right, the hands track here, then you're able to come up and around your body in a nice level swing plane way. Whereas if you come off too, too soon and the club gets to the inside, then that club's going to keep tracking back here. And what that's going to do, guys, that's going to pull you off your ball. See, my arm's tracking back. Let me just do it this way. My arm's tracking back. If the club gets too far to the inside, that inside move is going to pull me off the ball. See, it's going to pull me off the ball, and too much weight is going to be back here on my trail leg. If I get too much weight back here on my trail leg, then I have to overcorrect coming over the top. And that overcorrection, guys, leads to what? That overcorrection leads to all the swing flaws that we hate. Okay, does that make sense? All that, all this loading on the trail side leads to all the swing flaws that we hate. Okay, versus what? Versus if we create the right space, we come here on, on, on the plane, our arms move straight up. Now I'm in, a, I'm in a better position on a centered position where a little more weight's on my lead leg as my trail hip goes back. Now I'm in a little bit better position to do what? Drop the club right here on the plane. And this is where we want the club. We don't want the club. We don't want the club overcorrecting that sway and twist and coming over the top. We want that club to be on center and drop straight down. So you have to drop the club straight down. And you can do that. The odds go up you can do that if what? If you, if you stay center. So, so that's one of the main elements, okay, that we teach here at 2-6. That's one of the main elements of the two simple swing thoughts, okay, or the two simple swing adjustments, however you want to classify. Okay, you, you adjust your grip from open to leveraged. And you adjust your posture from, from center, okay, to a little bit what? To a little bit spine center. So we go from we go from like having weight on evenly distributed on both of our legs to a nice little pinch of the rear knee and just a little pinch. See, it's just a little pinch. It's not, it's not a load. It's a little pinch to center our core. Okay, so I get here, I pinch, I pinch here. So my core is centered here, here. Okay, everything falls into place. And then what happens is what? That means that 80% of your 80 of your swing is already done, and we take out over 50% of the motion in your swing. So, so this is where you learn golf. You learn golf right here in the comfort of your own home. Okay, you learn how the positions work. Okay, this is where you learn it. You don't learn it by always going to the range and buying two big buckets of balls and thinking you're gonna go find something. This is where you learn it. You learn it through position real position and real feel. Okay, in other words, I'm not going to tell you, you're not going to see me say, you know, you've got to really load, and then you see my real swing where I'm over the ball. See, it's a big difference between being here and being here. Okay, so you're not going to see me contradict myself, okay, when that happens. So this is how it's going, guys. You know, this, this is where it happens. You know, the 2-6 process, and if you don't know, the two six process simply means the two simple swing thoughts, okay, or the two simple swing adjustments to your grip and posture. Make sure grip, it makes your grip leveraged. It makes your posture spine centered. Leads to all six body and all six club positions automatically. It automatically puts you in those positions automatically, okay. If you do what? If you create the space right and come off the ball and rotate up and around and hit through the ball. Now, what are the six swing positions in, in the in the club? Well, the six swing positions in the club, guys, is takeaway number one here, rotation top of the back swing two, down swing into the slot, which we call the cradles three, impact four, rotation release five, okay, and then the follow through is six. Those are the six club positions. Now, what are the six body positions? Guys, 
Six body positions starting at the top. Head number one, shoulders two, arms, wrists, and hands is one unit three, hips four, knees five, and your feet are six. Okay, so those are the six body positions. So all those club and body positions interact, you know, together, okay, in unison with the two simple swing adjustments can literally put your swing in all those positions automatically. And that's exactly what's happening around the world with golfers all around the world. They're getting it done, okay, with just these two simple swing adjustments. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep doing these YouTube lives. Now, I've always tried to, to engage the live chat, which I don't see the live chat. Now, guys, if you're in a position to, let me see here, if you're in a position to uh, type something in, on my settings, it does say that you can you can activate live chat, but obviously, you know, it's not happening here. Um, but if you can, if you're in a position, go ahead and type in something. Go ahead and type in a question. Let me let me type in something down here. Say, uh, let me see here. Um, got my box going here. You know, um, what's up, guys? I'll just do that question mark and then uh, I don't know if you can see my comment I just posted it at 7 57 p.m. here in the, the Caribbean um, but if you guys are in a position type in the chat box but I, I don't know if it's if it's up because a lot of guys say that they, they don't get notifications a lot of guys say they're not getting they're not getting the live chat feature so I don't know what what's going on because I did I did set that uh, in my uh, in my settings, so, so that's what happens. Now, usually, guys, I have a a, a weekly Facebook uh, show. I do every Thursday night, every Thursday evening, with a lot of my private members, you know, from around the world. Uh, sometimes I will do a um, fan page live session, and sometimes I'll do a public page, Facebook public page. But I'm really trying to break in, break in back into YouTube because I really like the live the live features. You know, utilizing the live video and just trying to engage personally with the market. Uh, so hopefully, I can get the live chat taken care of because obviously it's not working. Because see, what happens is after I after I get off the air, I'll have several several golfers say, "Hey, Terry, um, you know, here's my question. For some reason, I couldn't you know get into the live chat. So so maybe we can we can get that straightened out and uh, and going from there. Because uh, I know that for those of you who are watching now. I'm sure you would type something in at least to say, you know, yeah, your name. Now, let me do this. Uh, I know I haven't put any uh, links in the description box below, in the text box below, but if any of you have questions, type the questions in the comment box below, in, in the comments, and then just let me know if you have the ability to type in the chat box or if you saw the chat box, you know, let me know, yeah, your name, if you saw the chat box. So that way I can at least, you know, try to try to get that back on board, okay, or try to fix it or something like that, because, you know, you know how technology is, you know, it's good and it's bad and all that kind of stuff, so, but anyway, because it works really, it, it works better if, if we had chat going, and then you wouldn't just hear me talk about what I want to talk about, so let's say if, if Greg had a question about, um, you know, the wrist position on the takeaway, then I could talk about the wrist position on the takeaway, you see, and then we could get into that kind of dialogue. Now, Facebook is good at that because, you know, I have Facebook chat activated with my two players, and we're all able to 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 uh, talk and chat and, and and talk about the golf swing and do all that kind of good stuff. So, so maybe one day, maybe one day I can I can get that chat going. But um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and sign off here for those of you who are just joining. Be sure to watch the uh, the replay. Uh, and get it. I'm right now. I'm just hitting the topics. I'm just hitting the the high points. And uh, you know, as the show gets. It's more mature as, as it keeps rolling out, then I'll be able to do what? I'll be able to really, really hit anything that you all want to hit. Again, especially if we get that chat feature going. All right, guys, Terry here. Simple Swing Thoughts, YouTube Live. Guys, I will talk to you on the next YouTube Live.